We will have a little mixture of sunshine and clouds, so uh, hopefully enough breaks in the clouds so you can see <laughs> where that sun is at. But right now it is partly sunny out there, a little bit of that blue sky peeping through the clouds. It's 84 degrees, but we have a heat index of 90 because our dew points have bumped up into those 70s. That's that very muggy. We have plenty of moisture in the air with winds out of the south southwest about nine miles per hour. So temperatures across the area. Most of us have been able to warm up into those low to middle 80s, but I expect it to feel a little bit warmer closer to those 90s because again of that humidity. So your lake forecast for your Labor Day temperatures are going to be warming on up into those upper 80s and low 90s. And then once we head in a little bit later this afternoon and through the early evening, a stray shower can't completely be ruled out once we pass sunset that chance is going to diminish and then tomorrow it's going to be a mild start in the 70s by lunchtime into those 80s daytime highs not quite as warm as the past couple of days because we have additional cloud cover but highs will still be in those middle to upper 80s a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms start to move back in during those afternoon and early evening hours we've been dry the past several days because of this high pressure system and also a ridge as well keeping things pretty quiet However, we have changes to our upper level flow. We have an upper level low that is drifting to the northeast. That's increasing that moisture. That's why we're seeing those dew points get a little bit more into those 70s today. And that could spark an isolated shower, very stray shower through the late afternoon and early evening. You can see most of central Indiana is actually going to stay dry. And then tomorrow afternoon, some of those showers and thunderstorms will spark through the early evening. Our better chance for storms will arrive on Wednesday as a cold front moves through our area. Maybe one or two of those storms could be on that stronger side. So we're gonna keep a close eye on Wednesday. But behind that cold front, we are going to see that humidity drop. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable for the end of the week and also pleasant air. We'll have highs in the 70s starting on Thursday.